is 4:30, and this afternoon we're getting an inside look at a major effort to stop domestic violence in Marion County. It's called Operation Domestic Disruption. Indianapolis Metro Police are conducting it, and our Samantha Johnson sat down today with the deputy police chief to learn how it all works. This is the fifth time Metro Police have conducted Operation Domestic Disruption, and this time around they say they targeted around 30 of the most violent offenders here in Marion County. Uh, I'm going to confirm that it's black charger. Right the now, there are about 1,000 domestic violence warrants in Marion County. That's according to Deputy Chief of Police Kendall Adams. The people we're targeting are very dangerous people. And those people are often linked to other serious crimes and are likely to strike again. Offenders will reoffend. Uh, up to 60% of offenders will reoffend. If they're not stopped. So that's why, for the fifth time in just two years, Metro Police conducted Operation Domestic Disruption with the goal of tracking down the most serious and wanted offenders. Uh, warrants that have deadly weapons, warrants with serious bodily injury, warrants with strangulation. So far, Metro Police have found 18 wanted offenders. Chief Adams says for the others, the best thing to do is turn yourself in. Doesn't mean they're guilty but it does mean they need to account for it. But finding these people is only part of the operation. It's also about supporting their victims. So that victims can begin to break the cycle. With the support of community partners, Chief Adams says help is available. You know, if a victim truly needs help, we're, we're gonna help them. Uh, a lot of times they're hopeless. And even though this operation period is over, Chief Adams says the search for the offenders is not. In Indianapolis, Samantha Johnson, 13 News. Sam, thank you. IMPD started these operations after seeing a rise in domestic violence during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is the second one this year, and Chief Adams says he expects several more next year as well. Now, if you or somebody you know needs help, you can find a list of local resources. We've got them all right now at WTHR.com.